Uh, I thought this was a weird story until my mom told me that my great uncle did the same thing. So this will be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Woman forces friends to mourn her at fake funeral when she lies in coffins for hours. Uh, we'd be lying if we said we hadn't ever pondered uh, over what might happen when we pass away. You know, is there an afterlife? How many people will come to your funeral? Stuff like that. Uh, but while wistfully thinking about her life after death in a it is a fairy is a fairly normal if a little morbid thing to do uh one woman has taken it a whole lot further uh, by organizing her own funeral except she's still alive in fact mayra alonzo was so eager to know what it feels like to die that she forced her nearest and dearest to mourn her at a fake funeral where she lay in a rented coffin for hours pretending to be dead the 59 year old from the dominican republic staged the rehearsal funeral if you will if you will, uh, back in April in the city of Santiago, where she dressed head to toe in white and even stuffed cotton buds up her nose to, em to emanate a real corpse. The weirdest part of it all, her family and friends actually went along with it, taking, in t taking turns uh, to walk up to the casket and cry, uh, presumably fake tears, and saying goodbye to their beloved Myra. Uh, she wasn't actually going anywhere just yet. Uh, they all sat around enjoying food, drinks, and recalling their favorite memories with her while she laid there and listened, which, com which uh, come to mind, come to think of it, would be a pretty good ego boost. It only costs like $1,000 to do. I mean, it's a, it sounds like an interesting little ceremony, but um, like I, I'd be pressed to show up unless there was free alcohol involved. <laughs> <laughs> when they got to the drinks, I was like, yeah, okay, maybe. Yeah, I mean, if it's gonna turn into a party, yeah, that that's what I would think. It's gonna be a fun time, but if you're all like just crying and mourning and actually doing that stuff, like a real wake, then it sucks. You know, I wouldn't go. Yeah, I don't know. My so so here's the story of my great aunt. Uh, great you uncle. don't love me. <laughs> uh, that's oh, how you ahead. find out who really loves you. <laughs> Apparently, like he was like. Uh, uh, he was well off, and he had a lot of friends in Pakistan as well. So he invited them all to, like, a ceremony to celebrate his, like, death, you know. But he didn't, like, pretend to be dead. He just – they did poetry, and they drank, and they had a good time. And they celebrated, you know. Like, it was more like a Mexican style, the way they celebrate death, right? Like Oh, like Day of the Dead. Yeah, thing. yeah. So, yeah, that's what he did. But, yeah, it was kind of similar, I guess. I thought you were going say because he's well off like he like he does fake his own death and then like whoever comes like oh that person's in the will that person <laughs> <laughs> you didn't come you, you're that's out. true yeah <laughs> <laughs> there's like i think there's like a robert duvall like in bill uh murray movie where like i think robert duvall does the same thing where like, he like fakes his own death or something and like i think bill murray's like the funeral director i've never seen it but mm. it yeah uh, i think hey. it might be based on a true story like in a tangent here, but how did Bernie from Weekend at Bernie's die? Oh God, I haven't seen that movie since I was a kid. I don't, I don't know. Nobody yeah. knows, right? I don't even know who it was. I didn't even know he was dead. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know the plot of Weekend at Bernie's <laughs> was that he died, and then the guys are like making yeah, it look I knew like that he's still was the alive. Plot. I oh, thought okay. you were talking about him dying in real life. No, 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 no. no. He's talking about in the movie. <laughs> movie yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Natural causes? I have no idea. Huh. Yeah, I was wondering. Because, like, first of all, if you're his family, you're mortified that people did that with his dead body. <laughs> Isn't there a weekend at Bernie's 2? Yeah. Oh, like, my God. What they do, like, dig the about... ripening. <laughs> <laughs> He's, like, part skeleton shining through. <laughs> I hope they embalmed him in that one. <laughs> oh, my God. They have him, like, taxidermy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> man like i i would be afraid to like stage my own death in the fake funeral just because like i feel like either nobody would show up mm -hmm. or like they'd show up and like, <laughs> like they, they wouldn't god damn the shouldn't have made this open casket holy <laughs> shit <laughs> was he hit by a car <laughs> <laughs> stop taking a piss you guys <laughs> He doesn't need that watch anymore. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but if you are doing that, and like, let's say you're in the casket and all the people are like sad or whatever, like, at what point do you jump out and you're like, surprise? <laughs> <laughs> at the very end. <laughs> Naked from the waist down. It's so fucking hot in here. <laughs> you guys are taking forever. <laughs> there was a, I told you about this. There was a dude who, uh, in his funeral, he had like, uh, 
like a video playing of him like telling jokes and having a good time and like, laughing. And he was like, you know, I'm alive, I'm alive, <laughs> and, all, and people were like laughing at his funeral. It was a good time. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would like to make one of those like videos where like if you're watching this I'm already dead or whatever. But then like I don't know, do something clever, funny with it. I don't know what it would be. But there's gotta be like and I should do it now so that like if I die when I'm old, like people can see like I planned this. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching this I'm already dead. You're like hundred and ten. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>